Welcome to Electroline. Now let's take a look at these two examples to see how we will multiply what we call radical expressions. And so we use the same technique. We use the distribution technique. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first term right here and multiply it times both terms in the second binomial. Then we take the second term right here and multiply it times the two terms in the second binomial. So let's write down the four products. So this times this gives us 5 times the square root of 3, multiply times the square root of 2. And then we get this times this, which gives us plus 4 times the square root of 3, times 5 times. And you know what? I'm going to do it the other way around. That way we keep the same order. So we have 5 times the square root of 3, times 4 times the square root of 3. Then we multiply this times this, which is plus a minus square root of 2 times the square root of 2 and then plus this times this which is a minus the square root of 2 times 4 times the square root of 3. So all we've done is simply write down the four products. Now we can work each product one at a time. So here we have the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 that gives us the square root of 6. So 5 times the square root of 6 plus here we have the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. Well, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is simply 3. So we end up at 5 times 4 times 3. Here we have a negative and the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which is simply 2, so negative 2. And here we have a negative and we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 3, which is the square root of 6 and a 4, so that's 4 times the square root of 6. Now we're going to simplify this a little bit more. So this is equal to, we have 5 times the square root of the 6 plus 60 minus 2 and minus 4 times the square root of 6. And now we can combine like terms. Here we have 5 times the square root of 6 and minus 4 times the square root of 6. We have 5 of them here. We subtract 4 of them here. So that's equal to 1 times the square root of 6. And here we have 60 minus 2, which gives us 58. And so that will then be the resulting product of those two binomials. So now let's try our second example. So what we're going to do first is write this in this format because that makes it easier to work out the problem. So this can be written as the 3 times the square root of x plus the square root of x multiplied times 3 times the square root of x plus the square root of x. And now we're going to do the same thing we did over there. We're going to draw some arrows so we realize that we're going to take the first term here and multiply it times each of the two terms over there. So this times this plus this times this and then this multiplied times the first term here and the second term there. So again we end up with four separate products. So first we have this times this. We write it down. 3 times the square root of x times 3 times the square root of x plus this term times this term which is 3 times the square root of x times the square root of x plus now we have this term times this term which is the square root of x times 3 times the square root of x and I can go ahead and put parentheses around it kind of running out of room so let's put a line down here and finally these two multiply together so that would be plus the square root of x times the square root of x and again I can put parentheses around it like that okay now let's clean things up a little bit so here we have the square root of x times the square root of x well that simply gives you x so we have 3 times 3 times x plus here again the square root of x times the square root of x that's x times 3 so 3 times the square root oh not the square root because I'm multiplying these two together so I get 3 times x plus here we have the square root of x times the square root of x, which is x times 3, so 3 times x. And here we have the square root of x times the square root of x, which is simply x. Now notice we have, when we clean this up a little bit more, this is equal to 9x plus 3x plus 3x plus x. And we have four terms which are identical. Not identical, but equal because we have an x here, we have an x here, we have an x here, we have an x there. So all we have to do is simply add them up. 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16, or 16 times x. And that is the result of that product. And that is how it's done. So what was your mistake? 
My mistake was over here. I went 60 minus 2 and called it minus 58. 